Hi everybody, this is Ahit. Today we are going to talk about antibodies. So here I have written a word called GAMED. And this game gives you all the five antibodies. That is IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE and IgG, I mean IgD. But today we are only going to talk about IgG antibodies. I G G. So what is I what is I G G? Well I G G is the most abundant antibody. The most abundant antibody. Antibody. Okay, out of all of these, this is the most abundant antibody. Next, it is available, it is found within 65 to 70 percent of our blood, 70 percent within our blood plasma. Blood plasma. Okay, now 65 to 70 percent, which is found in our blood plasma. Next, who creates this IgG antibodies? Well, the plasma cells, uh, the one with the big nucleus and the rough wedge. The rough wedge. These are the guys who are responsible for, for producing IgG antibodies. And IgG antibodies also called as monomers which means they are only having one so more no mers okay monomer next uh, when is it made well it is made during the first and the primary and the secondary, which is even more abundant in the secondary immune response, more abundant, more abundant. In the in the in the secondary immune response. It is more abundant in the in the secondary immune response. Okay. Now, well, here I have found out that there is a bacteria which has a cell membrane with a antigen. There is an antigen. So, what does IgG do? What does this antibody do? This IgG antibodies can bind to the antigen and antigen and they can activate our complement system so what does our complement system do well after activating the complement system they they act they uh, attack by doing a membrane attack complex known as mac the short form and optionization my Optionization. Okay. Now I am going to draw a viral molecule here. Okay, so I draw a viral molecule which has some kind of RNA or DNA inside it. So there are some kind of viral antigens out here on the surface. So, when they are, these IgG antibodies can literally bind to every one of these antigens. So, this virus can no longer 
come in host come in and bind in the host cell so what is this called this is called as neutralization okay now when there is a free antigen circulating around the body or should i say some blood then this igg and there uh, and it can uh, enhance the opsonization opsonization or fat and the phagocytosis but what is this full so what is this full process called this is called as precipitation precipitation Precipitation. Okay, now I'll erase this part. Yes. So now I will draw a placenta. This is the placenta. And let me see that here are some kind of blood vessels coming from the placenta. And these IgG antibodies, IgG antibodies, can pass. And where does it go? To the baby. It goes to the baby. And the baby will have some little immunity. It will have some little immunity inside it little immunity this IgG antibodies can pass now we will talk about somatic hypermutation what is that now in the somatic hypermutation there is a graph which represents this somatic hypermutation in an easier way in the y-axis there they I have taken abundant antibody and in the in the x axis I have taken days. Now I'm starting an expo I'm starting an exposure to antigen X. Now here now there will be uh, some kind of lag period. In the lag period uh, in a, like a day or two they will start producing antibodies. This starts rising and it comes down eventually. But then later on, there is some kind of another antibody. It may take like a couple of days. This starts rising and then he comes back down. So, uh, the first, so uh, this is what is called as the lag period. This lag period, in the lag period, the plasma cells have produced antibodies. The first antibody is IgM antibodies. What is that? IG, IgM antibodies. IgM antibodies. This is the first, uh, this is the first antibody which will be produced which will be produced in the primary immune response. But then later on, after, uh, when, when later on, in the primary immune response, I, uh, there is another antibody, which comes with uh, this antibody starts rising, and IgM starts decreasing. So this antibody is the IgG antibodies. Uh, and you and you can and you can observe that uh, this IgM decreases and IgG increases. So what does that mean? It means that the plasma cells have switched, and then they started producing IgG antibodies. How does that happen? It is so weird, right? Okay, first let me draw plasma cells. This is an IgM antibody, IgM, and this is an IgG antibody. So these genes get activated by certain types of cytokines and uh, 
cytokines, like cytokines, yeah, I'll say that. Cytokines, there's a different type of cytokines. And in the end of, and the, uh, here, there will be some kind of cytokines here, another type of cytokines. Cytokines. Oh, microbes the, that can uh, that can tell the plasma cells to switch the genes, and then they started producing IgG antibodies. Got it? Now, then, now if I give okay, uh, this uh, if somatic hypermutation is whenever the IgM switches. To IgG, that is called somatic happy mutation. Now I'm giving an I'm giving an another exposure to X. If there's a second exposure to X, uh, now watch this IgM, this black. It is going to produce antibodies again, IgM, which one is that much? Now look what will happen to IgG antibodies going to go up way up here now look at the big difference between these IgG this IgM is a little bit decreased then IgG is the most biggest it's um, this is the perfect you know this is the perfect uh, this is the perfect uh, what yeah this is the perfect image for somatic hypermutation Okay guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Bye bye!